Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way your body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. We want to help you change your life today. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about formulations, ingredients, the longevity products, skin health questions, questions about our truth treatment products, which are all available at truthtreatments.com. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. And of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you're advertised or recommended on the bright side, please go to my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can order longevity products right off the website. You can also call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. For more info, if you want to speak to a real live human being, you can sign up off the website as well to join the Brightside Ben team for a one time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business, enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business, writing your own, writing off your home office, writing off your mileage, your stamps, your travel expenses. If you're traveling for your longevity business, I can help you build your longevity business as well. We can do three way phone calls. Call 866-735-2470 for more info or sign up right off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, we are talking about skin, the movement of skin, anti-aging skin. We all want to have beautiful, youthful skin, but we don't know really what to do. And we are misled every moment, seemingly, on television and through advertising and media by sneaky, predatory, exploitative companies that come up with buzzwords and fashions and fads and melons that grow off the coast of France once a, once a year that have to be harvested, that have a magical healing property on your skin. The bologna I hear, you guys. I know how the sausage is made. So I know when I'm hearing bologna, and 99.99999% of it is bologna. And by the way, those doctors with the white coats that supposedly formulate the products, they do no such thing. Doctors don't formulate skincare products. Let's get that myth, burst that mythological bubble. They wear the white coats, but they ain't in the laboratory. They're calling Ben up to make their products or somebody like me. Anyway, we're talking skin. We're talking how to anti-age the skin with topicals. And it should come as no surprise if you've been listening to this program anyway, that it's really a nutri- uh, uh, in large part a question of nutrition. However, there's another strategy you can use to uh, support the support the development or the the growth or have beautiful skin to support the growth of new skin cells and collagen and elastin and the moisture factors and that involves stimulating the skin yesterday we talked about how the skin cells move from the bottom to the top as they're moving from the bottom to the top that's called transit time or turnover time some people will call it as they're move, moving from the bottom to the top they're dumping off these cells as they're as they're migrating and transiting upwards or dumping dumping off their moisture factors their moisture factors or dumping off their cellular contents i should say and those cellular contents become 
moisture factors. That means the more movement you have upwards, the moister and more hydrated your skin will be. Not fake moisture like with a moisturizer, but real moisture like trapping moisture. That's right, you have water magnets in your skin, and these water magnets come from cells as they're rising upwards to the top. They're dumping off their contents, which become these water magnets. So you want to, ink, you want to have a steady movement upwards. That also is important, for, by the way, for detoxification, the steady moving, movement upwards. And the steady movement upwards has a stimulating effect on all the good stuff down below, the connective tissue stuff down below. So the bottom line here is this transit time, this turnover time is important. When you're young, and by young I mean like under 20, your transit time is quick. Everything's quick when you're young. Things are moving. So your transit time is around four weeks, a month. A cell, that's the journey. It takes four weeks for the cell to migrate upwards. The turnover time, the transit time, the journey from bottom to the top is about four weeks. Then it gets five weeks. Then it gets to six weeks. Then it gets to seven and eight weeks. By the time you're 60 years old, it's about eight weeks. About, it doubles. This is a, just a hallmark sign of aging. Everything slows down. That means less detoxification, that means less collagen, that means less moisture factors, that means thinner stratum corneum, thinner skin surface. All of these things, all of the signs of aging are really secondary to or following a slowdown in the movement of cells. Now, on the other hand, if we can figure out how to increase or speed up, I should say, turnover time, from eight weeks to six weeks to five weeks to four weeks. If we can speed it up, we'll get more moisture factors. We'll get more water magnets. We'll get more collagen. We'll get more elastin. It's almost as if the, the skin will sense that shingles are missing from the roof. And it will pump out and it will make more shingles. Everything increases as we do this thing called exfoliation. Folia means leaf. It's like you prune your leaves, your leaves become bushier. Same idea. You prune your skin leaves, which are cells, your skin folia, your skin foliage, you exfoliate, and you speed everything up. You get bushier skin. Just like you get a bushier bush and a bushier plant, you get bushier skin. You get thicker skin, stronger skin, better skin. Thus, the importance of exfoliation on a regular basis. Thus, the importance of what are called skin peels, which I hate that term, skin peels. I, I, I prefer more... Uh, I, I prefer to use the term intense exfoliation. Skin peels just sounds, doesn't sound good to me. Anyway, whatever it is, whatever you call it, these exfoliative techniques, these exfoliation techniques act to speed up turnover time. And that means they make for a, a stronger epidermis, a stronger stratum corneum, a more resilient skin, and a softer skin. Exfoliation in the long run, if you're healthy, and I'll tell you how that's important right there, you got to be healthy, and you got to be nutriating. You can't just go to the gym. This is all of this stuff is like going to the gym. That's the analogy that you want to think of. When we talk about exfoliation, we talk about taking our skin to the gym. You can't just go to the gym. You got to make sure you're healthy. You got to make sure you're nutriating if you're going to maximize or leverage the benefits from your bench press and your, and your dumbbell curls. If you're going to leverage the benefits of resistance training, you better be healthy and you better be nutriated. If you're trying to, trying to drive the production of new muscle by traumatizing the muscle with resistance training, but you're not doing your protein, you're not doing your, your B vitamins, your essential fatty acids, if you're eating lots of sugar, you know, if you're not taking care of yourself, both directions, what you're putting in and what, you're, and what you shouldn't be putting in, you're not going to get the benefits of the workout. And it's the same thing with the skin. You can't take really sick, fragile, weak skin and then try to do a rapid exfoliation or an intense exfoliation procedure. This is, this is where exfoliation gets a bad rap. And this is where exfoliating aids get a bad rap, is we're trying to take our skin to the gym, and it's like we just got out of the hospital, metaphorically speaking. We're fragile. We're weak. So you got to make sure the skin is strong, you gotta, and you do that with nutrition, both topical and internal, and it's a simultaneity. They all have to happen together. Exer exercise and really exer rest. Remember that term. We exercise and we rest. Exer, exer rest plus nutrition is how you get stronger inside the body, the muscles, and outside the body, the skin. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Okay. 
Okay, we are back on the Bright Side. Thanks for joining us. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages at Ben Fuchs Archives, Ben Fuchs Archive, and brightsideben.com. Ben Fuchs Archives, plural, and Ben Fuchs Archive, and then also brightsideben.com. And we have search engines up. We also have uh, blog posts and news stories and videos at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also order all your longevity products off our websites as well, or you can call 866-735-2470 for more information, 866-735-2470 for more info. Also want to remind you to check out our truth treatment products, truthtreatments.com, or truth retinol 5% gel, and Truth Transdermal C Serum and Truth Transdermal C Balm and our Truth Omega 6 Healing Cream. If you're on Instagram or you're on, uh, if you're on, uh, uh, just do your research, check out uh, a lot of, there's a lot of bloggers, uh, vloggers, I guess you call them, vloggers, video bloggers who've done reviews on our Truth Treatment products. And just over the last couple of months, it's really taken off, I have to say, because people are just finding out what, 100% 100% active and functional really means and what it can do for your skin. And that's what truth treatments are. They're 100% active and functional ingredients. You shouldn't have to pay for baloney. You shouldn't have to pay for water and filler and wax and emulsifier and surfactant and preservative and fragrance. That's just dirty pool if you ask me. Anyway, all our truth treatment products, 100% active and functional, are available at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. And I have been doing this skincare stuff, folks, for 35 years, since 1983. That's when I first, actually, you know what, since 1982, so 36 years now I've been doing this. Um, my first work started developing skincare products working in the Blistex lab for the guy who invented Blistex, Dr. Tony Jones. And uh, for four years in my pharmacy school, in, uh, in pharmacy school, I was getting my internship hours while other, while my, while my colleagues were getting their intern, internship hours in drugstores, I was getting mine in the Blistex lab learning about the skin. And I know a thing or two about it. And it doesn't mean, it's not because I'm a genius or anything. It's just because when you do something over and over and over again, you, you figure things out. There is a way to make the skin healthy and beautiful, but most of us don't know what it is. And I'm telling you what it is. You've got to feed the skin inside and out, and you've got to stimulate the skin. And logic and common sense tell you that it shouldn't be any different because the skin is like any other part of the body. It's like any other living system. Whether you're talking about the living, a living system that's a plant or you're talking about a living system that is an a organ or a, a, the muscles in the body, or you're talking about a living system that's a civilization or a culture. Anything that's alive and that's moving and that's growing and that's evolving gets better and stronger when it is stimulated and nourished and rested. Stimulate, that's really all it is. Now, I always say health is simple. Well, skincare is simple too. Exercise it. Stimulated nourishment. There's a way to exercise the skin. That's the hardest thing for us to understand because how do you, that doesn't really make sense. How do you exercise the skin? What does that really mean to exercise the skin? Well, exercise is like a controlled wounding, a controlled trauma in the muscles, and the same thing is true about the skin, and we have a skin surface that we can control wound, if you will. When we, talk, when we say exfoliation, we're talking about a controlled wounding. Exfoliation equals exercise equals controlled wounding. And just like controlled wounding on the muscles make bigger muscles, controlled wounding, wounding or exfoliation on the surface make the skin stronger. You could do it at home or you could do it in a salon or you could do it at a doctor's office. I recommend people do it at home and then once a month go to a, find a good esthetician, not even a dermatologist. I, I find, no offense to dermatologists, that estheticians tend to know more about how to take care of the skin than dermatologists do. I... I think dermatology is the silliest of all the medical specialties personally because pretty much all they do is give you antibiotics and steroid creams and send you home. And if it gets really bad, they can't do anything. And a lot of times it does get really bad. Estheticians, on the other hand, are trained to work with all the different modalities because they can't do drugs, so they're forced to. They're forced to use other techniques because they're not in the, in the world of pharmacy, in the world of pharmacology. So skin peels and exfoliation, stimulating the skin, to grow, to move, gives you a stronger, beefier skin. It gives you a stronger epidermis, stronger stratum corneum. The idea that it gets, gives you beefier skin, is, and I, I know some people don't like that term, beefier, but that, I, I use that because it's really, 
It's very appropriate. When you look at a young kid's skin, it looks beefy. It looks kind of solid and substantive. And then you look at an older person's skin or an old person's skin, it doesn't look solid and substantive. I think of beef. The beef is a result, is a, a, a byproduct of collagen. It's a byproduct of high al uronic acid. And it's a byproduct of fat. Yes, fat. There are fat cells in the dermis. And as we get older, something very interesting happens when we're not healthy. And as we get older and weaker, those fat cells turn into uh, fiber cells. And so we become fibrotic and hard. Not good fibers like collagen and elastin, but excessive fibers. Not fibers that make the skin strong, but fibers that make the skin hard. That's why older skin is not as beefy and it's, it's kind of fibery, basically. So between the fat cells in the dermis, between the collagen in the dermis, the fat cells also, by the way, help trap water. Or I shouldn't say the fat cells. The hyaluronic acid helps trap water. Fat cells, the hyaluronic acid, the collagen. Between all that, you get, that means less wrinkles, fi uh, less fine lines. Wrinkles are in the dermis. Wrinkles are not in the skin surface. They're in the dermis. And if you're just trying to rub something on your skin to get rid of your wrinkles, forget about it. It isn't going to work because wrinkles aren't on the skin surface. And most of us do just that. Wrinkles are in the dermis. They're lower. So in order to, get at the, at the, uh, to prevent the wrinkles, to get at the dermis, you've got to be using certain ingredients. When we will be talking about that. Also, stimulating by exfoliation can also attract, can also uh, uh, stimulate or, or, or somehow message the dermis to do some work. That's so cool. That is amazing. We can manipulate the skin surface, which we have plenty of access to, to get more collagen and more hyaluronic acid and more, uh, and more blood supply and a thicker, stronger dermis, a beefier dermis, by, which we don't have access to, by working with the stratum corneum. We, can, we have access to the stratum corneum. We don't have access to the dermis, but by manipulating the stratum corneum, we can de facto have access to the dermis because they talk to each other. They're communicating to each other. More blood supply, more oxygen, more detoxification, more nourishment, less wrinkles, beefier skin, more hyaluronic acid. All of this is a function of exfoliation. Do you think exfoliation is important? You better believe it is. The action of speeding up the skin, this whole thing that we're talking about, speeding up turnover time, speeding up tr uh, transit time, is exactly the same metaphor as exercise or hormesis. We called it hormesis before. Hormesis is more about chemistry, but <clears throat> excuse me, about chemicals. But still, it's the same idea. Correct stimulation of the skin in bursts, sim similar to exercise, just like you want to exercise in burst, bursts, bursts, can help prevent or even reverse the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. If we understand the, the concept of exercise and combine it co with an understanding of skin biology, we can learn to literally exercise our skin. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. Got more good health information and your phone calls coming up right after this. Don't go away. On the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number, and we do have lines open for you. If you're on hold, we'll get to you just a moment. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, health challenges, you or a loved one may be dealing with skin health questions, questions about skincare products, ingredients, formulations, or truth treatment products, or a common or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010. Is our number on the bright side? All right, a couple of stories here. We'll get your calls here in just a sec. So hang on. This is from uh, this is from Case Western Reserve University University Hospitals Cleveland Medical Center. Inflammatory bowel disease increases the likelihood of a heart attack. This is so important, folks. Diseases are comorbid. 
That means they don't occur as singular events. They occur as part of a breakdown of the entire system of the body. So if you are dealing with any kind of circulatory problem or inflammatory bowel problem, you are most likely going to end up dealing with a circulatory problem too. I read another article here today, which I don't have in front of me, unfortunately, that was that linked migraine headaches to cardiovascular health issues. Migraine headaches are one of the most miserable experiences a human being can have to endure. And I have never had them, but I've had the uh, misfortune or privilege, depending on how you look at it, of helping, of working with many people who had migraine headaches and helping people who had migraine headaches. It's just tragic beyond belief. The pain and the agony that some people have to endure and suffer through, uh, suffer through on a sometimes daily basis. I remember a gal came into my pharmacy and she had had one continuous migraine for decades. That's the kind of agony. Uh, that, 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 it's indescribable. Absolutely indescribable. The pain that people have to endure sometimes for, for days and weeks and months. And it's a circulatory problem. It's a blood problem. Like all health challenges are blood problems. I got a text yesterday from a gal and she asked me, could her problems be inflammatory, a leaky gut syndrome? She had all these health challenges. And I told her about cleaning the blood and the digestive system, et cetera. And she texted me back. Could they be leaky gut syndrome? Of course they're leaky gut syndrome. Everything is leaky gut syndrome. Every single, when I talk about dirty blood, that's what I'm talking about is leaky gut syndrome. I just don't call it that because that's just a kind of a fad and a fashion. But everything that's a chronic degenerative disease involves blood toxicity, and the blood only becomes toxic through a leaky gut, unless you're injecting stuff in through your skin, which can happen, and, and then that's a serious problem, too. That can cause all kinds of issues. But for the most part, people who suffer from chronic long-term degenerative health challenges are dealing with dirty blood following leaky gut. That's why we always backtrack to the digestive system. So, of course, inflammatory bowel disease is going to increase the likelihood of a heart attack because when the bowel becomes inflamed, it becomes leaky. And you don't have to have a diagnosis of, of inflammatory bowel disease to have an inflammatory bowel. You don't have to be knighted like a, a queen makes somebody into a knight with her, with her sword or whatever they do to turn somebody into a knight. You don't have to be dubbed by the doctor to be, have a disease in order to be suffering from some kind of breakdown in the body. You don't have to have an official diagnosis of inflammatory bowel disease to have an inflammatory bowel. If you have gas and bloating and discomfort and digestive problems six hours or so, after four to six hours or even less, three to six hours after you eat, you got a, probably an inflamed bowel. And there's lots of things that can do it. Sugar can do it. And I'm not talking about sweet sugar from in a candy bar. I'm talking about fruit sugar or vegetable sugar. Yes, vegetable sugar, uh, fructooligosaccharides, oligosaccharides, disaccharides, monosaccharides. They're called the FODMAPS diet. It's called the FODMAPS, F-O-D-M, FODMAPS diet. I'm not sure what the P and the S stand for. But there's, those are sugars that are found in avocados and asparagus and any kind of vegetable you can name. And you can say, oh, well, I'm eating only organic. It doesn't matter. I don't eat salads. It doesn't matter. I don't eat veggies. I'm a vegetarian. It doesn't matter. You could still have a problem with vegetables. And speaking of which, here's another interesting, another interesting uh, article. This one's from the journal, the, the, uh, the magazine, I should say, Food and Wine. The great veggie burger debate. Are they actually good for you? It ain't no debate. They're not good for you, period. They may be better for you than hamburgers, depending on the meat, but they may be not. Veggie burgers are not quality food. They're a quilted, cobbled, synthetic food with pieces of this and pieces of that are stuck together. And they're awful for people who have skin problems, by the way, especially acne. They can be a serious cause of acne, veggie burgers, fake meat. Why? I'm not just talking about the soy. I'm talking about the gluten. They use gluten in there to stick everything together. I'm talking about all the GMO crapola that's in there. Not to mention the chemical preservatives and flavor agents. But of course, the grains in the soy are seriously problematic. And there's not just grains in soy. They're ground up, extruded, liquefied, chemically manipulated. They are awful foods. Veggie burgers are awful foods. And yes, hamburgers are probably better. Although, certainly hamburger meat 
has its own. <laughs> hamburger meat, there's a lot of problems associated with hamburger meat, too. That ain't a great food either, by the way. Meat is just, you know, people think that meat is a, is a good food based on our paleolithic backgrounds, our, paleo, our evolutionary background. But you know what? Your paleo ancestors, our paleo ancestors weren't going through the drive through at McDonald's. They weren't eating the kind of meat that we eat today. Our paleo ancestors weren't going to Safeway to get a steak or Morton's. Our paleo ancestors were hunting wild animals that were eating, grain, uh, eating uh, grass, not grains. Grass-fed wild game, and they were hunting them, and they were working for it, and they were out there doing stuff, moving their bodies around. That's the problem with paleo, by the way. I am not a fan of paleo, although I will say it, it's, a little, it's probably way better than the standard American diet, but I'm not a big fan of paleo. And oh, by the way, do you know meat gets turned into fat? Or I should say protein gets turned into sugar, which, that, which then gets turned into fat. A lot of people going paleo can't figure out why they're, losing, why they're not losing the weight. Well, your steak, if you're not working out, that could very easily be, get turned into, into body fat. And it can also throw off your blood sugar, by the way, too. So you got to be careful with protein. you got definitely got to be careful with meat. The best thing to do is get enough protein to meet your protein needs to meet your protein requirements. What are they? Well, it's hard to say, but they're more if you're a workout warrior. They're higher if you're, uh, if you're fragile and weak and you want to build muscle in combination, of course, with resistance training. Your protein needs are higher if you're recovering from surgery. Your protein needs are higher if you're pregnant. So if you have higher protein needs, yes, you want to increase your protein in intake, but if you're living a sedentary lifestyle, you don't need a lot of protein. You need probably more protein than we're getting, and you certainly don't need all those carbs. That's why I like the ketogenic diet. I prefer the ketogenic diet. Uh, to me, that's the, that's the best diet. Ketogenic diet has just become a fashion and a fad, but it's been around for a long time. I've been talking about it for a long time. Dr. Wallach's been talking about it for a long time. Not necessarily calling it the ketogenic diet, though. It's a high-fat, moderate-protein Low carb, low calorie diet. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. You're listening to the Bright Side. We will take a commercial break and come back with your phone calls right after this break. Don't go away. On the bright side, farm Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number. Time to hit the phones. Let's go to Oklahoma and welcome John to the bright side. Good morning, John. What's up? Hey, Ben. Great to be on the show. Yeah, I was thank you. Uh, wondering which facial cleanser to use and which product of yours to buy. Um, I'm not really sure which one. To well, my facial cleansers. Blackheads. Uh, okay, you want some retinol is what you want, number one. Blackheads are a sign that you're pumping out lots of oil. Uh, too much oil, and your pores can't handle it. Oil is, is, comes out of uh, cells that are, are stimulated by stress hormone. Did you know this? C uh, cortisol. You've heard of cortisol probably, right? I, correct, yeah. Okay, yeah. so you've got to calm the body down. The best way to calm the body down when you're producing lots of oil, getting blackheads, oily skin, the best way to calm the body down is with all the calming strategies we always talk about on this program. But in addition to that, uh, I would be using vitamin B5 internally. Uh, wonderful, and we haven't talked about that a lot, but I plan on it. Vitamin B5 is a wonderful, wonderful anti-sebaceous vitamin. Very important for the adrenal glands. You want high doses of it, and you want to use your vitamin B5, pantothenic acid, um, uh, top, uh, internally. Uh, also, you can use it topically, and whenever you take an internal vitamin, a B vitamin, you want to always make sure you're taking all your B vitamins. You never want to take just niacin, just pantothenic acid, or just thiamine, just B12 by itself. You want to take it as a complex. So make sure you're using your vitamin B5, one or two grams okay. a day, or even more, and then uh, also... Uh, 
um, uh, make sure that you're uh, uh, using it in, with, in conjunction with the entire complex, like the Beyond Tangy Tangerine or something like that. Now, uh, topically, retinol is the go-to for excessive oily skin or also uh, blackheads, also pimples of any kind. And then for an exfoliation, you want to use, and we haven't talked about that yet, for um, drying up the sebum, cleansing the sebum, you want to exfoliate. And then uh, I would be considering uh, one of my cleansers, which aren't out yet, but they will be. I've got a retinol cleanser coming out. I've got a, a, pepper, a, a salicylic cleanser coming out with peppermint in it. That's going to be good for you. Uh, in the meantime, what I would be doing is I would be making, looking for an alpha hydroxy acid type product an alpha hydroxy acid cleanser, but you got to look for low pH. In fact, what you could do is you can uh, just uh, mix a little bit of glycolic acid, which you can get on the internet, uh, with maybe some coconut oil, uh, and then it won't suds or anything, if you like, or aloe actually would be better for you. Forget the coconut oil because you got oily skin, but aloe, Vera, that can help you. You may want to toss a little bit of glycolic acid or lactic acid in there, but one of the neat things about aloe is it has natural alpha hydroxy acids in it. You can also use apple cider vinegar, that has natural alpha hydroxies in it, acids in it, and then also wine has natural alpha hydroxy acids in it. Uh, I, those are three ways that you can get AHAs, alpha hydroxy acids, and I don't know if you've heard us talking about them. Uh, we will continue to talk about alpha hydroxy acids. They're incredibly important and skin valuable, especially if you're dealing with, with oily skin, but also for anti-aging the skin, for softening the skin, for exfoliation, as we've been talking about. Uh, so get yourself some apple cider vinegar, and then maybe if you want, throw in a little extra glycolic acid uh, uh, that you can get at a pharmacy or off the internet. Okay, does that help you? Yeah, it does. And does niacin play a role? Not, niacin's okay. Not not overly spectacular. More like a niacin's got some nice skin lightening benefits, uh, as a, it can improve the tone and texture of the skin may have some anti-acne benefits. I've seen good literature, although I've never seen really good results, but I've seen good literature of niacin for acne, but not necessarily for the oiliness. Not, uh, for the oiliness, you're looking more at uh, getting rid of the oily oiliness with exfoliating aids and then stopping the oil production internally with nutrition. Okay? Okay, and am I getting enough B12, uh, correction, uh, B vitamins in my uh, pollen? Beyond, no, absolutely not. The pollen burst is not a okay. B vitamin product. The pollen burst is a caffeine product. The B vitamins are in the in the uh, Beyond Tangy Tangerine. That's your that's your go-to B vitamin product. Although I'd be adding extra B vitamins personally. Okay. 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 Thanks for your call, that. John. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Let's move on to Florida and say good morning to Frank. What's up, Frank? How you doing, buddy? Hey. Good morning, Ben. Uh, got a diagnosis recently from an ultrasound on a uh, mitral valve regurgitation. I got okay. a symptom of it of losing my breath when I. Kind of okay. observe myself. Okay. What do you think so, of that? Well, here's the deal. The mitral valve is a little valve that's in the heart. It keeps blood. It, cl it pumps the blood pumps, and then it pumps through the, the mitral valve, and then the valve closes to keep the blood from going backwards. Uh, however, when uh, your connective tissue starts to break down, that valve becomes leaky. They call it a prolapse. You may not have a full full fledged prolapse, but your valve is becoming leaky. That needs to be regarded as a connective tissue problem. All prolapses and and regurgitation in the, in the mitral valve, which isn't necessarily a prolapse yet, uh, should be regarded as a sign that the body's connective tissue is breaking down. Does that make sense? You follow me? It's the connective tissue. The mitral valve is made up of connective tissue. It's the deterioration of the strong tissue that's supposed to keep that valve tight. So what you're doing, what's happening is you're breaking down, basically. Now, I'm taking it, you're in your 50s, probably, 60s. How old are you, Frank? I just, just turned 50 and... Okay. So, all right. So yeah, now that's I'm just what like happens. <laughs> it's, it's a sign that the body's breaking down. It's par for the course. It's not like you're doing anything wrong, although you can, you know, there's things you can correct, I'm sure, in terms of how you eat, how you supplement, build your connective tissue. It's, it's probably the sh first shot across the bow, the beginning stages of the connective tissue breaking down in your body. Uh, you probably don't notice it yet in other places, but you will eventually. Are you on any medicine or anything? No, I'm off all medicine, thanks to you and Dr. Wallach. I've been taking the, the, the supplements and, and feeling better, so I'm off what is all your my... What was your health challenge previously? Uh, none, other than none? the fabricated things that the doctors made up. You know, okay, high blood all right, got it. What uh, what medicines were you on previously? Um, I don't recall the blood pressure medication. Okay, the, the, um, that's all right. The, it was for blood pressure. Yeah, and then there was a statin drug, which okay. Now, all right, well, the statin drug probably didn't help. 
The pro statin drug yeah. didn't help you, okay? And it probably it could have easily made things worse because statin drugs will cause the body to break down because cholesterol is important for building up. So shutting down cholesterol production will cause the body to break down. That's just biochemistry, folks. That's not me on my high horse. That's just biochemistry. Statin drugs will cause the body to break down. It's not like they're toxic to the brain or the muscle or the, any specific part of the body. They just generally cause breakdown biochemically because you need cholesterol to build up. It's just biochemical common sense. Now, uh, th but that tells me that there's something going on, that they would give you a statin drug and they would give you some blood pressure, uh, blood pressure medicine. So you've got to work on your body as a whole. Get yourself on bone broth protein. Get yourself, do, do bone broth every day. Make sure that you're using vitamin C on a daily basis. You can't make connective tissue without vitamin C. You want to be stimulating the connective tissue by, grow, by uh, resistance training, forcing it to grow, compelling it to grow by resistance training. Use glucosamine. I'll bet you not one doctor out of a thousand is going to tell you to use glucosamine for your heart, but it's really important because your heart depends on connective tissue. Whether you're dealing with fibrillations or whether you're dealing with uh, uh, cholesterol deposits or whether you're dealing with mitral valve prolapses or any prolapses, you've got to make sure that you're doing, uh, taking the raw materials in to build, and glucosamine and chondroitin are in critical for that. Also, high hyaluronic acid supplements I would be using. Get on a completely good uh, all-around nutritional supplement program like the Healthy Start Pack. Keep your blood sugar down. Blood sugar is connective tissue's mortal enemy. And con uh, if you have any digestive health issues, those need to be corrected because toxicity in the blood will ultimately get dumped into the connective tissue, and that also will lead to a connective tissue deterioration. The, 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 the immune factors and the inflammatory factors and the, the, old pep, the old food particles will all get dumped into the connective tissue, and that can lead to connective tissue deterioration as well. So what I'm all that stuff... All that information I gave you here, uh, uh, Eric, or Frank, I'm sorry, in, is about uh, building the entire body up. And not only will it help you with your heart, but it will also help you with your entire human bio system. And you'll live longer and feel better, too. Hey, I want to get one more call in. Thank you so much, er uh, Frank. Let's Thank see you. if we can get. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's get Eric in Florida real quick. Eric, what's up, buddy? Good morning, and thank you for receiving my call. Sure. What's uh, going on? First of all, are these... Are these uh, programs uh, recorded that uh, I can hear as a podcast. Yes, of course. Go to Ben Fuchs Archives or BenFuchsArchive.com and then you can also go to uh, uh, BrightsideBen.com and there's a search engine and all the programs are archived. There's years of programs. And also I've got YouTube videos if you just Google Pharmacist Ben and, and you'll get a million things. Um, and I'm all over the internet so there's lots of places to get this information. And it is quality information that you're, it came out of my, my personal experience as well as my research and so you're not going to hear it anywhere else. Hey listen, we're out of time and I'm sorry Eric. Can, if you can call back tomorrow tell our call screener that we left you on hold we'll get you first up. I apologize for that. But we only get an hour on the bright side, and our hour is up for today. Thanks for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Check out our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for all the longevity products, and truthtreatments.com for all our truth treatment products. Retinol 5% gel, truth transdermal C serum, truth transdermal C balm, and truth omega-6 healing cream. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.